What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And one of the major questions I've been getting is about the rookie premieres and how it's going to work in Madden 19, uh, what you should be doing to get prepared for it, and how it's going to influence your team in Madden 19. So let me go ahead and give you a summation about everything that's going on. What's going to happen is this. There's going to be specific rookie players that can be transferred over into Madden 19 that can be upgraded, but you start with them based on some of the traits that EA is going to believe that they should start off with. So some of these guys that come out, um, are going to be pretty, pretty, you know, they're going to be pretty decent cards. Uh, namely, maybe the quarterback um, is going to be pretty good that came out. You could go ahead and look at some of the players right here, right, uh, and see. Like, they're going to choose some of these rookies. So Saquon Barkley is probably going to be a decent uh, rookie premier. Baker Mayfield will be. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some of these cards that, you know, we all like. Um, the Ravens got a good deal, so maybe Lamar Jackson might be some, somebody that they'll choose because they don't do it for everybody. They're going to select a few um, that are going to be rookie premieres, and we just have to wait to see exactly which ones are going to be available. But all in all, um, you guys are going to want to pick the best thing. Like Derwin James, I think he's going to be a stud. Yo, shout out to those, um, you know, those L.A. Chargers, man. They're going to be pretty good with that guy right there. But what's going to happen is you're going to have the option. Sam Darnold, uh, he should probably be there. Josh Allen. Quarterbacks usually get a chance, but I don't know – you know, if they're going to change the um, the situation and how it's going to be going to where you can, you know, figure the, the, the best case scenario for your squad. Like for me, when I chose my players from Madden 17 coming into 18, I knew which players were probably going to be the best. And I just lucked out. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I absolutely like it, it wasn't any kind of scientific thing to it. Um, I knew that these players would probably be, be you know, be pretty good. I just knew that. I don't know if I have them set like that. Do I have them um, with the program? Because they are NAT cards, so shouldn't they be under NAT? Let me see. They should be. No, nah, but they don't have them under NAT, though. Um, Madden Classic Goats, Baby Goats, Long Shot Team of the... Yeah, Rookie Premier. All right, so here they go, right? So look, I pretty much... The only guy, but Corey Davis got hurt. So he wasn't really able to do a lot of the things he's supposed to do. So these were the cards that I had transferable from... Madden 17 into Madden 18, right? And you could look at what they went to, like Miles Garrett getting a 96, getting a 97. These cards started off in the 70s or something like that. Yeah, like the low 70s or whatever and went all the way up to these kind of stats. So does it actually help to influence your team to make them better cards? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth it? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like once, once you get these things done, and um, you're able to start the year off with cards that you think are going to be the best, and it turns out to be the best, as they get updated throughout the year with every week that they play that they're good, bro, trust me when I tell you, you see the difference. Like Marshawn Lattimore, I knew he was going to be a stud just because I, you know, I followed some of the stuff he was doing, and I knew he had that it factor, and he showed it. Miles Garrett, you know, he was the number one pick. So, you know, pretty much usually... You know, they're going to be able to, you know, do something to where EA, plus he's, you know, Cleveland Browns, and there's a lot of Brown fans running around. So they are going to make sure that they find a way to do that, you know, to give them the upgrades. Leonard Fournette, he actually had another card, but because it was a limited, I didn't get it. The um, You didn't get the upgrade for it, which is weird, because they said that you would get, you know, whatever card comes out. But it is what it is, bro. But he went all the way up to a 91. And um, you can look and see, like, his truck and everything like that. Trucking being a huge thing, he's something that... You know, you could have probably been able to use if you had him. Me, I don't really care about it, so it didn't matter. That dude, like, he, he gets no airtime, bro. But this is just an example of the cards that I had transferred from Madden 17 to 18. All right? So now, let's explain what's going to happen. This is what the deal's going to be. In upgrade sets, um, in upgrade sets, what's going to happen is they're going to release the rookie premiere. Once they decide which one of the rookies are going to get a rookie premiere card, they're, gonna to they're going to release the set. And like I said, I don't know if all 32... I'll go all first round picks are going to be released. I don't know if they're going to change it up and pick, you know, cards from the other. Ver I don't know. All I'm telling you is this. There's going to be a few of them that I am going to suggest. Whether you want to get them or not, that's your choice. Okay? Whatever whatever is going to suit your team. Now, look. You see the cards that I picked, right? When I pick, when I pick Lattimore, a.k.a. Ladder Daddy, I know that the biggest thing when Madden starts is the wide receivers that are fast getting over the top. That's why I went with a corner that I knew would be fast. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody knows, no matter how long you've been playing Madden, speed is like the number one factor all the time. Now, because of the situation where they took away a lot of the outside streaks, 
unless you know you know you know uh, you have to be able to you know high pass the rat catch or whatever like that whatever it is unless you know how to do certain things like that it's very very difficult to beat your guy over the top but regardless of that situation you always go with players that can play the deep ball you always do that like that we we can't dispute that if you're looking for corners early on to start the game you don't want to get burnt deep you don't want to give up that big touchdown so that's why I chose Lattimore now once you figure out the card that you want it's going to be similar to this right you're gonna. It's gonna be a certain amount. It's probably. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna go like 50. Maybe like you know 28 or whatever like that. It's going to be. You're gonna have to fill up all the, whatever amount of cards there there are with the actual cards of the uh, rookie premier card. So whatever they're going for, which they usually start going for very very high prices if it's like the best card. Now some of the cards are gonna be very very cheap. You see what I'm saying? Like some of the cards that are not like highly sought after. Um, usually like the trash linemen, right? Because remember, they start off at a low overall. So some people, they don't really go with the linemen. They go with the skill positions because they know that those are the ones that's going to have more impact. Over the last couple of years, linemen have been kind of, you know, stupid for the lack of better terms. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't really do what they're supposed to do. So most people that understand Madden are not going to spend their last coins or their last money on packs to get linemen when they know that, when they start the year off, they can just go find bum linemen to start the game. That'll do probably the same thing. So they don't usually go after the linemen, all right? Now, whatever position you're looking for, you're looking for cornerback, wide receiver, halfback, that, that's pretty much what I would go. I'm going after skill positions. I go after like a, a decent QB, you know what I'm saying, decent halfback, a corner, and a wide receiver. That's usually what I'm looking for. So you're going to see a, whatever amount of cards that EA decides to be, um, you know, whatever to complete the set, it's going to be the guy's face like this, you like Marcus Davenport. It'll be however many of him as a rookie premiere. And then you got to fill it up. And then when you fill it up, once you fill it up, you're going to get a version of the card to play with in Madden 18, okay? That should be auctionable or tradable. But it, like last year, the issue was this, right? When you completed the set, a lot of people were asking, can I sell that card and still get my um, my transferable card in Madden, you know, the next Madden? Like, for instance, Latigo, when I completed his set and I got his 99 overall card in Madden 17, I was like, yo, bro, people were like, yo, can you sell them and still get it? I, I tested it out, I sold them, and I still got it when I first logged into Madden 18. So I'm assuming that you would be able to sell the card that you get from completing the set in Madden 18 and you still get your, your rookie premiere in 19. But like I said, I'm going to verify with EA Sports because sometime it changes, but I don't think that they would change that. Okay, so in summation, when you're looking at it, once you complete the set, the set is usually for a 99 version of the card in the current year. Okay, so you would get a 99 version of this man right here, Marcus Davenport, and then it will give you a, um, it's like a, it'll let you know that you completed it, and then... Once you log in to 19, you would get the rookie premier version, whatever overall. Obviously, you're not going to get a 99 overall version of him in Madden 19. He'll be like in the 70s or whatever he would be in, and then he'll be upgradable based on the way that he plays throughout the year. And every time he gets another card, you would automatically get that upgrade. Okay? So with that being said, that's pretty much the whole thing. When you look at the cards now, you have to choose. Like Saquon Barkley. Let's just say, for instance, right? Say you do a Saquon Barkley. He's going to have a very, like, he's probably going to be in the 80s. As they're going to definitely make one of him for rookie premiere because he's going to a team like the Giants. You know, he's going to run the ball. He's going to help out Eli Manning. So he's going to be a guy that they know people will go after, right? So listen, if you do this card and you get the 99 version of him for his rookie premiere, right? His, his rookie premiere in 19 is probably going to be like 81, 82 to start. I don't think they'll give him maybe 85. Like, he's going to be in the 80s, though. And then he's probably going to have different upgrades. As long as he plays well, he's going to be a card that's going to go pretty high. I could get, you know, I could almost guarantee that because that's the way they do it in New York. They, they really need a run game right now to establish what they're trying to do, especially with trying to save Eli Manning's legacy. They're going to try to, you know, establish the run so get some more play action and things of that nature. So look, once you get all of his stuff done, which I think he's going to be very expensive. I think his individual cards for his rookie premiere set are going to be very, very expensive. Once you get him done, if the price is right and there's something else you want to do and after you play with him a little bit and you don't want him, go ahead and sell him and then do another rookie premiere. You see what I'm saying? But just remember this, though. The 99 overall version of his card, they, 
usually the market doesn't reflect well. Like everybody knows that the cards are auctionable and that you still get the rookie premiere in 19. So they're not going to spend as much because pretty much the rookie premiere uh, is usually like that's the end of Madden. So people are not going to be going crazy, you know, trying to get him and spend it. But like I said, if you could get a decent amount for him and put it into getting the next one, you don't need to keep him. Again, I'm going to verify that, but I don't see how it would make sense that they wouldn't continue along the same lines. It should be the same thing, all right? For you to, to, for you to be able to sell it and then also get your rookie premiere in uh, Madden 19. So that's pretty much what you're going to have to decide. Now for me, Saquon Barkley, I might go Baker Mayfield. These are going to be very expensive. Sam Donald should probably get one also, but I don't know how many quarterbacks they're going to do. Bradley Chubb's going to be a stud. Um, you know, Josh Allen, more than likely, he's going to be doing some work. Uh, Josh Rosen, um, hmm, yeah, Fitzpatrick should be pretty good too, um, just looking at the guys that I would probably consider, I'm definitely gonna go try to get a Derwin James, definitely gonna try to do that, um, this guy with the Cowboys, I, I don't know, I gotta see what's going on with this guy, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the Cowboys are doing, um, Rashad Evans, I, I think, yeah, I think he's pretty decent too, uh, DJ Moore, Cav Penny, t uh, this guy, he's pretty good, he's pretty good over here, um, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not doing this guy. And then Lamar Jackson maybe, but I don't know how the run, I don't know how the running QB is going to be in Madden 19. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if I want to. Do, do I really want to do that though? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I, do I really want to go that route? That's gonna be like this guy's gonna be a stud. He's gonna be a good user also. This guy, uh, Tremaine Edmonds. So you, you might, I might end, up, I might end up doing this guy, bro. Like, I, I, I might complete this guy's set right here, because like to have a good user linebacker, depending on how much. Anthony Barr might cost at the beginning of Madden 19, um, Leonard Floyd and stuff like that. This might be a decent one. He might make some plays, but people people have been sleeping on the Buffalo defense, but they've been pretty good, man. So I don't know. You know, that's just an idea. Obviously, as it comes down to it, I'll give you guys more of an assessment looking forward to it. But those are just some of the guys that I would probably look into completing their sets. Baker Mayfield, um, Barkley, um, like I said, Chubb, depending on how the D-line works out. Hmm... Mm, yeah, uh, Tremaine, I would do Derwin James. And then, like I said, I would go all the way back down through to here, Lamar Jackson possibly. But we got to see how it works out. But that's the insight to it. So like I said, it costs a decent amount of coins to get those individual players. Again, people get really greedy. Last year, like cards were going for like 30K each. You know what I'm saying, bro? So for, for the good players. So I just want you guys to be well aware of it. Be careful. Um, understand that it costs a lot to complete these things. And just tread lightly with it. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Enjoy your day. G Myers World. One love.